Hello everyone, welcome back to YouTube. I hope you're having an awesome day while you're watching this video. And this is me saying that it is the 300th episode of Mac Music Review. Yes sir, we've, con we've gone this far. Not saying that we've made it very far in terms of success, but I sure as heck tried. In this very special episode, I want to talk about my favorite album of all time. Uh, Late Registration by Kanye West. Late Registration is a magical album and it is my favorite album of all time um, for a few reasons and in this video I'm just gonna try to outline those. I'm gonna give you three reasons why I absolutely love this album. One of them is the scope of the album, one of them is the consistency, and one of them is the variety of the tracks. It's just, for all of those reasons, it's an album that I can come back to at any moment in my life or hear, you know, any of the songs randomly on shuffle when I'm shuffling all my music and just put a smile on my face or feel a certain emotion and it just, you know, it just helps me get through the day. So, um, here we go. The first really great thing about Late Registration is the scope of the album. And by scope, I mean the fact that the album is absolutely massive, not just in length, it is 15 full-length tracks. Um, one of the songs we major is over 7 minutes long, the song Hey Mama is over 5 minutes long, the song Gone is over 5 minutes long. I don't mean just in terms of the length, 15 tracks, I mean 15 full-length original songs, uh, 21 tracks overall, that includes four skits, and there's two versions of the song Diamonds from Sierra Leone, one of them with Jay-Z and one of them without. I also mean the scale in terms of the music. The music is huge, it is orchestral, there's tons of strings on this album, there are choirs, the group vocals, and lots of huge name guest artists who all do so much to contribute to the album. I mean, we're ranging from everyone to, from, um, the lead singer for Maroon 5 on the song Heard Him Say to Jamie Foxx, the Oscar award winning actor in the song Gold Digger. And you know, you have legends like Nas and Lupe Fiasco and Common and Jay-Z also scattered throughout the track list. And some other guest artists who are not very significant names that I don't really recognize, but trust me when I say that everyone on the album does a really fantastic job. The features all feel very purposeful and very, you know, they add a lot to the album. I love the scope of the album. I love how huge it is. I love how it feels larger than life, how there's so many songs. And, you know, it, the reason I love all these songs is not, you know, there's a lot of really overstuffed massive rap albums, but this album, and this is my second point, this album is really consistent. Consistency on an album is probably the greatest strength any album could have. And by consistency, I don't mean all the songs sounding the same because um, that's not the case with this. I mean the quality level. There is really not a significant dip in quality on any of the songs, even though there are songs I like less. I don't like Gold Digger as much as most of the other songs. I'm not as big of a fan as Celebration. Like, Celebration isn't my favorite, and then Gone is also not a favorite. But basically everything else, and these are still great songs. I would say each and every one of the songs on this album is great, and that's something you really can't say about like any albums at all say that, I mean, it's very, very rare for to say that every single song on an album is great. I've given five star reviews to albums where I don't think every single song is really great, but in this case, every single song is really great. There's not a dud on the, on the entire track list, and the highlights are just, they come in handfuls. There are massive, full-fingered handfuls of fantastic songs on this album. Lastly, um, I love the variety on the album. It's rare for me when there's a project that is this varied in terms of the lyrical content and the tones and styles of the songs where it works so well when it's doing so many different things. This album is kind of an emotional and personal roller coaster for Kanye West just going through the track list. Heard Him Say is a song that is so pleasant and so soothing and so calm with that hook and the whole atmosphere and vibe of the song, it just works so well. Uh, Touch the Sky is an absolutely euphoric, feel-great song that just, you know, it does what it's trying to do, it feels awesome. And it's followed by the extremely comedic Gold Digger. This is a goofy song. This is a, a dumb, goofy song about Kanye and his relationship with, with women, with specific women. And um, it's just, the fact that we can jump from 
you know, just, you know, soothing and calming and just comforting to really, really ecstatic and high energy and feeling great to just th this level of goofiness and actually working is kind of amazing. The songs can also be really epic and huge. Things like We Major, which is seven minutes long, which once, once more falls into the kind of the touch of the sky, but less high energy and more just about feeling amazing and feeling so powerful and huge as Kanye West was at the time. It's, it's an appropriate song given him. Other songs feel very close and intimate and personal, like Addiction, where he's dealing with lust in a very personal way and um, kind of giving into it, not really pushing back against it, but it's very reflective and it really shows us a very honest look into him and the way he deals with this issue. Um, and then you have really personal moments like Roses and Hey Mama that are just so personal and you know, about his the relationship with his mom and how much he loves her and sad and, and you know. And then you end it with a song like Late, which has this feeling of nostalgia and kind of longing and it creates this emotion that's hard to capture some of the emotions on this thing and some of the feelings i can name but the one that created by late and gone are things that are hard to pin down with words but um it is just the variety on this album is endless there's so many different moods and styles and vibes and atmospheres created and i think absolutely all of them come across very strong and effectively and all of those reasons are why Late Registration is my favorite album of all time. Other favorite albums of all time, other albums I absolutely love. I absolutely love To Pimp a Butterfly. I absolutely love Transatlanticism by Death Cab for Cutie. I absolutely love The Moon in it. The Moon and Antarctica. That's so hard to say. My Modest Mouse. Um, I love the, the album Pale Horses by Me Without You. These are all like favorite albums of all time. Pinkerton, uh, Debut by Bjork. Like, I'll link some of these in the description, because I've reviewed some of these that I'm mentioning. But, um, this album just hits. It's, I, I just love how the album is so big, and the reason, yeah, the real reason it's my favorite is because it feels so wide-reaching, and it's something I can throw on literally at any time, because there's different songs for all kinds of different moods and occasions and feelings and personal things, and, you know, it's just, it, it to me is just that comfort food album that is also, in my opinion, perfect in terms of the content. And of course, if I was to give it a score, I'd give it five stars out of five. Um, obviously, it's my favorite of all time. But thanks for watching the video. Uh, what's your favorite album of all time? And please tell me why. I'm, I would be really interested to know. Thank you for watching this video, and have a great rest of your day.